Hello, gamers of your program. We're back already with another video of the tutorials from me. So, someone requested on my previous video, I literally, this is the third video of today. Uh, someone requested me to show off the best uh, broadsword from Tinker's Construct. Now, this is kind of irrelevant because we're going to most likely, in, in any case, be using the Dracon Draconic Staff of Power with max upgrades. But, hypothetically, let's look at the best sword. So there's only two options that I could think of for the sword. It's going to be a full magical wood broadsword and the uh, draconium one. Which, the draconium one will be a bit different. We would do an awakened draconium sword blade. But then the rest of it <clears throat> would be of thomium and paper. That, that to get the maximum amount of modifiers out of these. So, the first one is pretty simple. Uh, I made two magical tool routes because I'm stupid, I guess. Sure. Uh, let's try this again, but with magical wood. Thank you. Okay, uh, so we'll put this together. There's my first one. So we have 11 modifiers, two hearts, and the durability is shit. Okay, second one. I made two fucking... Ah, it's this one and then thomium tool rod. Let me try this again and not fuck up. Thanks. Of course I would do this. I would, of course I would fuck up. Okay, uh, it's all good, it's all good. So do two right of that. There we go. So switch these around and you have your other option. So, you look at these two, this one has four attack damage, this one has 19. But the modifiers are hella different. So the first thing is putting the nether stars on both for the extra modifiers. We're gonna max them out. Now, again, this is pure personal preference so we could either go for max attack damage on them or we could go for the all the stuff you would want like fortune I mean, looting i mean um the capacitor and all that stuff uh i'm assuming that it would make sense that i would need a capacitor on both of these this durability is 15,600, but you wouldn't want to have to repair it so let's go get two things for these we'll we'll put a good capacitor and a shit capacitor we'll just have both of them uh so we'll put this capacitor let's put this shit away now i don't need it uh, and let's get a shitty one for the other weapon. And then you can recharge these with power instead of, uh, instead of having to manually do it. <clears throat> I mean, instead of having to actually repair them. So there we go, we have our two capacitors on them. They charge up because of my, uh, Draconic Flux capacitor. Okay, we're good. Now, we have an extra 7 on this and an extra 13 on this. So I'll start with the Awakened Draconium Broadsword. We'll add the modifiers in here, and we'll see what happens. So, this gets me to 32. It's probably going to screw up. Yeah. So, let's see. I think I can add 6 at a time. Let's try this again. We'll do 6 at a time. It probably will screw up as well. So, there's 6 modifiers at one time. It looks like it works. So, we can keep adding 6. So we'll just max it out with uh, with quartz and see how much damage this has, and then we'll compare it to the uh, magical broadsword and see which one is better. And these are your two options for uh, broadsword. So there's a fully maxed out awakened draconium broadsword. It's 40 attack damage. Now let's max out the magical wood cleaver. It obviously had more modifiers, so we'll be getting a lot more damage out of the quartz. It's much more about the modifiers than it is about the actual base damage of this. Um, cause it doesn't work off of base damage, it's a, off of the modifier, so it's then, basically it's, if this had, because of the more modifiers, can make up for the 19 base damage that was on the Awakened Draconium, uh, broadsword. So, here we go, a lot of fucking modifiers, obviously for modify, uh, for quartz, it's better to use the Awakened Draconium if that is a concern, but if you don't have Awakened Draconium, you can just do a magical wood broadsword and we get up to 43 so after doing both of them the test has proven that a magical wood broadsword is better than the awakened draconium uh, the only difference of course we have 80,000 rfs on this this one has 4 million obviously is irrelevant if you have any capacitor on you that'll keep recharging it so there you go there's my video hope you guys enjoyed i would recommend using magical wood as your broadsword um that's it there you go, and this applies basically for every single, just so you, you, you don't ask me to do every single fucking melee weapon, this applies for every single melee weapon. The 
broads or any any melee weapon, it is better to use magical wood. It applies to the cleaver, everything. Just make it out of magical wood. You get a shit ton of modifiers. You add tons of quartz, and you get higher damage than even the best actual option for a broadsword blade, which is why Tinkers has changed for 1.10 and it no longer does all this nonsense of just fucking maxing shit out like that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed though. Leave a comment in the comment section below of anything else you'd want me to do tutorials on. Probably stay away from Tinkers Construct from now on. We've done the ranged weapons, we've done melee weapons, you have it all solved. Um, Take care, leave a like if you guys like the video, subscribe if you guys like my content, watch my videos, or anything like that. We're trying to hit 20k subscribers by 2017. Help me do that. Take care, and I'll see you guys later.